So, um, what are the main challenges for MC in low data languages? As you may, may guess, uh, data, but here I want to distinguish uh, among annotated and annotated support for dialects and in domain data. Annotated data sets are necessary to train machine learning models in a supervised fashion. So these models are commonly used to accurately solve a specific tasks, such as, for example, hate speech detection. However, um, creating annotated data sets requires human intervention by labeling training examples one by one, making the process usually time consuming and very expensive given the thousands of examples advanced deep learning models requires. Thus, it becomes unfeasible uh, sometimes to rely on only manual data creation in the long run. Um, then unlabeled data sets like the SPORPRA are the precursors to their annotated versions and they are essential for training-based models that are later fine-tuned for specific tasks. Hence, approaches to overcome the lack of unlabeled data sets also became very important. And if we talk about uh, speech models, it is also important to support dialects um, as a model training in one language may not perform well uh, in the dialect. Uh, think about Arabic, for example. Uh, also, I would like to specify here uh, in domain data because right now it is uh, difficult to find and create any corpus in low data language in general. So imagine if you want to create a specific in the main engine for, for a low data language. Um, your resources probably will be reduced in size for sure. Uh, so some um, of the languages also lack native speakers or even experts able to generate new resources, to label the, the data, to evaluate the quality, etc. And finally, um, countries with rich economies can dedicate sufficient financial resources and funds to research on language technology while others cannot. And also political issues may affect or prevent the development of language resources and enhancement of language technologies. 